on turn one of this Almond Kit draft. Red, green, aggro. On the die roll, yay! This is definitely a deck where we want to win the, the die roll. We will keep this hand for sure. We may end up cycling this card. I think I'm working on just playing this card grows. We don't have that many green sources. I think it makes more sense to play it. I would love to cycle it, but I don't want to have to play a tap land layer down the line. Saying that we don't have any three drops, so we could probably get away with it. I think it makes more sense to play it. Cycling them's fine late game. I think our opponents make sure we're recording, sorry. We are. Um opponents consider a mulligan here it would appear. He elects not to. We'll play our tap land and pass. We have two four drops, I really don't want to I'm only playing 16 land, so I think it would be greedy to try and, you know, set up the cycle for the Scarra Groves. I think that's, I think it's better for us to just play out what we have. Yep. Opponents taking a sweet old time, which maybe me, makes me slightly nervous given we are on the clock for this draft. Yep. Let's get that Nef top Nef crop entangler in. We will exert the Nef crop entangler this turn if, if need to be. No problem with that. We're playing, the zombie, playing against the Zombies deck. We are playing against the Zombies deck. That makes me sad. I think we can just swing here. I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm happy to offer the trade. I would happily take that trade all day long. I think our opponent's more inclined to trade there. We are a path maker in the shit and go. We will definitely electrify that wayward servant for sure if we get the opportunity. Like next turn, I'll just I'll yeah well double that sentiment. Yep. We will snap. Yep. Annoying, but nevertheless, land, land would be good here. Just let me. No, okay, well. You know, we can do something cool. We don't necessarily have to use our electrify. We can. Swing with the Bitter Blade Warrior next turn and then sack it to the Manticore to kill the Wayward Servant and keep the Electrifying Hand. Fanbear, sure. Yep, drain us. We do need to deal with this situation quickly. Devote crop, mate. Oh, wow. That's not so good. Yep. Yeah. Land, please. Yes, okay. I think we'll attack here, and if our opponent wants to. I think we'll attack with both. Yeah. See what our opponent does. Does not block as expected. Play out a harp your manticore. Of 
course, our opponent can get it back because he can tap our creature down. But I think I'm okay with that. Maybe I'm not okay with that. Maybe that's a mistake. Yeah, he's doing it. That's fine. Yeah, maybe we should have just electrified. Maybe that was the better play. The opponent only has one card in hand now, though, so... I think we just want to do this. Hmm. I think we'll just pass. Yeah, we probably made a mistake there. We probably should have just electrified the devoted crop mate. It's given him it's given our opponent some serious card advantage here. Yeah. that we have to do it like this but such is life I think we'll just leave, leave on him actually Probably wants to get super aggressive, you know. We could just win potentially down the lane here. Okay, if our opponent doesn't leave us enough creatures next turn, there's the potential for us to just play Ancrop Crash or win. If he wants to be aggressive and keep on tapping in our turn, he's flooding out now, so. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's getting aggressive. Okay, well, if he attacks with these two guys, let's see what he attacks with. I think. Okay, I think we just take this and try and win next turn. I think he's going to gain a life. We still have lethal then. I think this is lethal. I think it's his axes, unless our opponent has a trick, in which case we just lose anyway. Yes, we got there. Surprised, we made a few mistakes that game, so I'm pleased that we got there. Um, the opponent's tech is fast, fast and powerful. I uh, really wish we had that magma spray now, really wish we had that magma spray. However, such is life. Maybe the Butte Strength is worth bringing in here for the Tormenting Voice. It's to have some form of trick of some kind. Yeah, let's try that. I think it was a very aggressive attack from our opponent there. I'm surprised he made that attack. The way he did that last turn. I definitely would not have done it like that, but there you go. We will keep for sure. Set up the Ancrop Crasher again. Yep. That's what this deck's designed to do. Spout two drops all day long. Okay, I think we'll discard the Brute Strength. What 
do we want to discard here? Get, uh, what do we want to trade here with the Nazi? Probably nothing actually. I'm probably just happy to just pop in. Our opponent clearly doesn't have uh, We Were Servant already play at that turn, so. Definitely take the two here if your opponent wants to. Cartouche of Ambition, yeah. So annoying. Perhaps we should have played Blitter Blade Warrior that turn knowing that... Knowing that the Cartouche is less relevant then. Okay, fair enough. Then we can play, you know, Nef Crop Entangler and Shed Weakness next turn. So up the one turn. Opponent's gonna get in again. You can just do a lot of damage, Soul Stinger, yeah. Soul Stinger I'm not too concerned about, or as concerned about. Although it is a very real card. Yeah, no bot. I don't think this actually changes our turn, to be honest. I think we play out the land, play out the Nef Crop Entangler and leave up the Shed Weakness. Yep, yeah, sure thing. Worked out absolutely fine for us. Play out our Better Blade Warrior. We'll leave the mountain in hand in case our opponent does somehow manage to get the devoted crop mate in. Which isn't what we're wanting to happen, obviously, but. Servant, there he is. Slightly late to the party. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll take it this turn. play this hand crop crasher because it's you know I want to play it as a as a trick you know I think we'll pass here we do need to start getting aggressive with you know I think we probably need to do to eat the soul stinger this turn see what our opponent does we definitely trade with the devoted crop me no matter what he has me sure yeah Yeah, I think we just need to do this now, unfortunately. Kill Great Maw, I presume. 
hier. Hmm. The desert Serdom we cannot cast. Let's cycle this. See if we can get something better. Slightly. Slightly better. Opponent's life total is very high. I think we're going to win this game. It's going to be very tough. The devoted crop mate. Yep. Yeah. We will double block. Annoying. We're going to lose our anchor crasher. That was another worry. I think this game's over. Yep. If I would maybe keep us in this, just yeah, no. Onward, onward. On his deck's very good, very good. I think I prefer actually having the tormenting voice just dig us further into our deck. So let's try it like that. I would like to play first, yes. Yeah, this hand's okay. No two drops, which in this deck, given the number of two drops we're running, is pretty insane. We do have a one drop. Hopefully we draw one of our two drops. We do have removal in hand. We have two removal spells effectively, so fan bearer for our opponent, I presume. Really want to see a two drop here. It'd be very nice. Yes, that's fine. And for two, and pass. You know, for pulling a piece we were serving, I am absolutely happy to like sacrifice a pathmaker and initiate an anoint a priest. Yep. I think we'll just play Thresher, Lizard, Haste and Swing. Good fast start for our deck. We have three removal hands, their spells in hand effectively. Absolutely fine with that. I think we'll just. Don't know what we're going to do here. It's going to very much dictate, depend on whether we have a, a land or not. We didn't. We want to just cartouche this away. My opponent seems to be doing very little, so yeah, I think so. I'm not a huge fan of that plan, but. I 
and it appears to be missing his land drop, so I think it makes sense to be aggressive here. Well, he's high his land drop, so let's see what he, he does with it. Waver initiate, sure. Land. Not land. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll give this guy haste and swing with both. I think it's worth it just to be aggressive here. We're getting in for another three damage here. Our opponent appears to be stumbling. You know, as soon as we had another land, we're in great shape. Absolutely will like sacrifice the pathmaker and bind the mummy, sure. Flashback the anointed wizard of remedies, sure. At this point, we may want to put the Heart pure, Piercer Manticore to our opponent's head, potentially. I think we can sacrifice it to itself as well. So I think we just, if we had another land, I think we'd just win, maybe. Well, maybe not. Not now. Crop me. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to, we're definitely going to electrify that if we get the chance or, or Manticore or whatever. Card is so annoying. Hmm. So I guess we stop the Vizier from blocking. Do you want to be able to stop the crop mate? If we put him blocks here and here, it takes three. Stop uh, binding mummy from it. Defending. It's maybe a mistake. Soon find out. Yep. Pong's gonna gain some life here for sure. I mean, if he swings with both, he's in a very precarious position. I think we, if we hit land here, we just win. I don't know if it was right to do that, how I did it, but we shall see. Yep. Yep. 
I hope he brings back the unwavering issue. That's what I would actually like to see him bring back. Yes, sir. And they brought back the Annoyer Priest, which makes sense. Because he can now flash back the Unwavering Initiate. But I think if we hit a land, we just win. Even then, because I think the Manticore got uh, the Heart Piercer Manticore can sack to itself. And obviously, we can get two in no matter what via the Pathmaker Initiates. So he's going to flash back the Unwavering Initiate. Yeah, which is what we expected. I think if we get a land here, we just win. If we don't, it's not so good because our opponent can gain more life. Yep. Land. Land for the win, please. No. That's not a land. Well. It gives us even more outs because any kind of any kind of creature then wins it for us next game. becomes the case because of our opponent casting a creature. Yep, makes sense. Any creature or any land, I think we have an awful lot of outs here. An awful lot of outs. One has to be careful what he attacks with. Just the initiate, which kind of makes sense actually. Come on, sir. Yep. Take my medicine. Come on, creature or land. Land, ideally. Yeah, I think that's game. So we make him unblockable. Attack. Your heart piercer manticore. Doesn't really matter. Throw that at our opponent. GG's. Unless he has a trick. Yeah, we got there. Heart Pierce of Manicor. We're just waiting for the other land. Um, but we got there eventually. Yeah, opponents, we, the opponent made us do an awful lot of damage to him that game. I think he was up to 29 life at one point. Um, but we fought through and got the win, so hopefully you'll join me shortly for round two.